The next type of microphone device we'll cover is the MXA920, Sennheiser Team Connect Ceiling 2, and Yamaha Odysseus Ceiling. In order to set up these type of microphones, we will need to position the microphone device correctly in our workspace. Ensure that the XYZ position of each device and the orientation is correct. Usually with ceiling tile microphone arrays, the logo either faces the front or back of the room. In order to select the model, you can use the drop-down menu at the top right. Let's add a second microphone. You will notice that each subsequent microphone device is color-coded, so that it is easy to tell the difference between the two. Next, we'll need to create virtual microphone positions for each of the mics. We will do that by selecting the Add Virtual Mic button on the right-hand side and then dragging each virtual mic to the area of the room where we'd like individual camera shots. All three of these microphone device types work in a similar way. The microphone reports the direction of the beam or the audio to the Automate VX software. Then Automate VX finds the nearest virtual mic position to where the audio is and recalls the camera shot associated with that virtual mic. The next useful tool that we will cover is the proximity check. With these microphone device types, the positional information must be accurate in order to achieve reliable camera tracking. This proximity check tool will notify us if any of the virtual mic positions are too close together. In which case, the microphone may not accurately be able to decipher the difference between those two positions. If you see any dotted red lines between any virtual mics, you will need to pull them further apart or rethink your strategy in order to achieve reliable camera tracking. The proximity check will tell you if any of your virtual mic positions are too far from the microphone itself in which case, the microphone may not be able to detect the speaker. If there are any loud noise sources in the room that may distract from any of the active speakers, such as a doorway or loud AV equipment, you can add a blocking zone by selecting Add Blocking Zone on the right-hand side. Place the blocking zone on top of any of the areas in the room where you would like to ignore sound entirely. When the microphone reports audio from this position, Automate VX will not react. Another important parameter to understand when dealing with the MXA920, Sennheiser TCC2, and Yamaha Adesia microphones is mic coverage. By enabling this option, we can see the effective radius of each virtual mic position in the room. If any audio is detected outside of these radii, Automate VX will ignore it. You can increase or decrease this radius using the slider and the text field on the left-hand side. 